So radiation. When you have, you, we talked about the salvage, uh, you know, treatments that high food could be. With radiation, can you re-radiate the prostate, and and is that a, a, a acceptable form, like is or is it one and done? So one of the problems with early radiation, uh, say 10, 15 years ago, they didn't have the targeting that they have today, and so they had to dial the dose down because there was a lot of overspray and a lot of damage to the surrounding structures. That meant that the cure rates weren't as good, and so people could develop a recurrence of cancer right in the very spot where the radiation was given previously. In the old days, we thought that meant no further radiation was possible, but modern radiation is so targeted that they can ensure that all the radiation goes into the prostate, which can be sacrificed. And so, in particular, salvage seed implant radiation is being used more and more frequently for some uh, men that have had these older radiation treatments that didn't get the job done. So the answer is yes, you can give radiation therapy a second time in many cases to the men that have had older type radiation and who are now developing a problem in their prostate again. Now, the, the other issue, of course, is that if the cancer comes back in another part of the body, not where the prostate is, but let's say in a lymph node, in an area of the body that was never treated in the first place, it's quite simple with modern targeted radiation to treat those other spots. And so giving radiation a second time to those people doesn't represent any problem at all. Okay. And when you mentioned the, the seeds, does it have to be like temporary or you know permanent, or is it for both it'll have the same effect? Either one. Of course, this is another skill procedure, and you need to go to the people that have dedicated themselves to doing seed implants. And uh, I wouldn't have a seed implant from a doctor that says, oh, I, they tell me I can do this, you want to be my first patient. But there are a number of centers that have had a series of people that they've treated with salvage seed implants with uh, good outcomes. And, and so it's uh, always important to be selective of the doctor. So are there further side effects if you re-radiate some tissue that's already been radiated? Is there an expectation that there may be more extensive side effects because of that? Well, that's the risk. And the risks of radiation, whether it's first time or second time, we're all familiar with urinary problems, erectile dysfunction, uh, rectal problems in some cases. So those risks are there doing it again. But studies in the hands of experts show that those risks seem to be occurring or those problems are occurring at a relatively low rate. So speaking of you know radiating the prostate tissue, what actually happens to the tissue once it's been radiated? So the typical treatments like freezing and laser and high food, the tissue is completely destroyed and it's replaced by scar tissue. The example maybe easier to understand is when a woman undergoes uh, radiation for breast cancer, her breast doesn't disappear, it doesn't turn into scar tissue. So what happens is the normal cells are able to repair themselves better from radiation than cancer cells. So when radiation is administered, the prostate cancer cells die, but the normal prostate gland cells continue, although they may be impaired and they may not be able to make as much uh, fluid or semen as the uh, original gland did. So the prostate may be a little bit smaller. There may be some a reduction in the number of normal cells, but uh, there still is a prostate there after radiation. So is there a certain time frame where those, those prostate cells, you know, after they kind of come back and heal, that a, a man can produce more semen and will heal from some of these side effects over time? It depends on the intensity of the radiation. Seed implant doses is, are higher, but I have had patients get uh, their wives pregnant after previous prostate radiation. Mm -hmm. So there can be functionality of the prostate after radiation, though most men won't be able to do that, of course. Okay, and was that like in six months or like a two-year time frame? In that particular case? Yeah. Uh, probably about two years after treatment. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. The next question I would like to ask is, is, I think I get asked this question extremely often, and that's men who are calling our helpline and they've had prostate surgery and they wanna know if they need radiation. And so how often, what, what Gleason score, what stage they need to be in? Yeah, there have been quite a few studies looking at this question. Uh, so if someone has a, a positive margin or if it was a big cancer or high Gleason, uh, is the safest thing to just go ahead and give radiation. The, uh, the studies seem to be indicating that if the PSA is undetectable, in the majority of cases, if you watch it really closely and start radiation at the very first sign of an increase in PSA, that you'll do just as well as if you just go ahead and do the radiation right after the operation. 
And of course, waiting is advantageous because if you do radiation right after the operation, you have a higher incidence of incontinence and impotence and other problems. So that's the general rule of thumb. Of course, this whole space is changing quickly due to the advent of new PSMA PET scans. And that uh, can be done at the time of relapse or it can be done at the time of surgery. Um, but I, I always have to throw in my own little pet peeve about doing surgery in the first place. So if you're thinking you might have to do radiation right after the surgery, why not start with the radiation and skip the surgery? The cure rates are just as good. Uh, this is just one more reason that I'm not a big fan of surgery. Okay. Yeah. And when we talk about radiation, is that just like IMRT or CyberKnife, or does it matter what type if they do have to have it? So CyberKnife and SBRT are more convenient because they can be given quickly. Uh, IMRT may take five to eight weeks and uh, lots of visits and travel time. The um, studies are ongoing right now to see if short-term radiation would work just as well and be just as safe as giving it over five to seven weeks. Uh, the preliminary indications are that it may be safe, but most of the men that are getting treatment like that are having it done on a clinical trial because it's not 100% sure that giving it real fast like that is 100% safe, though most people think it's going to turn out to be safe. Well, thank you so much for answering our questions once again. I love sitting here with you because it, it totally expands my, my own personal, you know, kind of thought process when it comes to how we should all think about prostate cancer, and I feel like I get to experience it with the patients. So that's really cool. If you would like to have me ask Dr. Scholz a question in the future, you can go ahead and leave your questions in the comments below and our team will pick them up. And for more information about prostate cancer, if you would like to talk to somebody, we do have a helpline and so you can go ahead and call us and find our number on our website at uh, pcri.org. And please, if you like this video, you like the information and you would like to see more of them, give us a thumbs up on the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And this helps us share this type of prostate cancer information all around the world. And we're very excited about that. And so thank you so much. We appreciate your support and we hope you have a great week.